Welcome to Satisfactory Update 4. My name is Nilaus and this is a brand new Let's Play of Satisfactory here on my YouTube channel. So this is Satisfactory Update 4. Update 4 has just been released on the experimental branch of the Early Access. So it's brand new. There's lots and lots of cool things in Update 4 like drones and lights and revived nuclear, uh, weird new power, batteries, a lot of cool things. However, this is going to be a start from scratch. As you can see, we're starting here, new game. I'm going to start in Northern Forest. And this means that instead of just dropping you into a, a, a setting that you might not be familiar with to showcase some late game options, we are going to play through from the beginning all the way to as far long as we find it to be fun, as long as you think it's interesting and you continue to uh, watch, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I've continued to find it interesting. We're going to continue. And maybe it'll be a mega base, maybe it'll, it won't. Depends on a lot of things. But I am super hyped about this because uh, there's a lot of good things. I mean, especially the drones, that's gonna be, if, if they add blueprints, then uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy. So uh, what is this uh, playthrough gonna be about? What can you expect? Well, it's gonna run three days a week and I have played the game before about 600 hours. So I am not a complete rookie, but I'm not like the best player in the world. So you are warned, I'll be some stupid things. I do know that you press shift and then you run. So that's uh, at least at least we're there. I will not be rushing things, but exploring naturally, just uh, progressing naturally. I want each episode to have a distinct goal of what we want to do. And that means there will be some cuts so that we can actually make sure that we get to the objective at the end of the episode without going for several hours of uh, episode. It might be several hours of content, but it'll cut down to something that is more manageable for and more reasonable for YouTube. So that's what you can expect. We are going to dive into the Northern Forest. And the Northern Forest is a really nice location because it, um, it, it has a lot of resources and it's a bit cramped and it looks nice, particularly it looks nice. So let's dive in. Hey, we're doing the planet fall and I would like to direct your attention to the strap. The strap is now pointing downwards, which is absolutely amazing. It's pointing downwards as we are slowing down while doing a planet fall. That is a massive, the, probably the biggest change in update four that I can think of is the fact that the strap on the constructor there is pointing down once when we're do when we're entering the gravity well awesome super super massive uh, playthrough that's really big improvement so here we are we are landing at this uh, beautiful location we are just uh, gonna navigate and just uh, orient ourselves around here in this location and then we'll uh, find our way to the place where we're setting up the base Another early game of this. Oh, she's very chatty. I absolutely love the early game. It's so well done, so well done, and uh, yeah, we're gonna skip a bit on uh, on all of these things because uh, I would encourage you to to uh, explore this yourself. We are going to deconstruct this one, and what we're gonna do. Please dismantle. Shh. All important fix it data and communicate. Open X. Okay, we're gonna do there. And then uh, what Second we need to do is we need to Please equip the Xeno Zapper. There we go. Step, Zeno step, Zapper. step. And uh, see, I'm skipping the tutorials part because I, if, if you want to uh, explore yourself, then I would uh, recommend uh, you go through all of this. Uh, I'm not gonna, yeah, okay. So what we need to do is we need to find our location by scanning for iron in the surroundings. And this is where we, things are a bit dodgy because you would expect that the first place you get out here that you're supposed to go, okay, so the closest iron is actually the best one. It must be the one that I'm supposed to go to. And that's the Western one. That's not actually the case. It's actually one of these ones. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna go here and just uh, run away all the way over and uh, find our ho new home in this beautiful, beautiful world. I absolutely love the early game. It's so well done. The orchestration, the uh, the, the way that it's the way that it's, it's paced is so nice. So we're gonna be doing a lot of things. The first thing we want to do is, is set up our hub. So I'm gonna keep scanning this so we can get some kind of idea about where we're going. Let's uh, jump over until we find it so we have a have our hub set up. 
So this is our starting location. We have copper, we have stone, and we have iron up here and here and here. Super nice. So uh, let's go there, but we have a little uh, uh, a hog, a, I don't know, what, what do we call them? And Okay, so let's clear those out. I think there's only one. So the trick against these is you won't wait for them to charge. Come on, come on, buddy. Go back, jump, then you can uh, stab them twice. And stab them twice. And then uh, they'll never hit you. That's the theory at least. So we're gonna go up here, we're just grabbing some things along the way. And we are going to build the hub. That is gonna be the first thing. We wanna build it up here on this uh, little plateau, I think. Because there is, that's our iron deposit, that one. That's our iron deposit, so we want to have our hub Somewhere around here. Let's build it. Q. Oh. Oh, I have to... S oh, okay. I have to harvest some of this before it allows me to put down the hub. All right. All right. Fourth objective. Build the hub. Note. To complete this objective, the there. resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. ta -da! We have now started the game. The hub is built on spacious <clears throat> open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely... Boom. We don't want to listen to her. We want to listen to me. Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature manual craft bench. Hub feature hub terminal. All right. Stop talking. All right. So now we are going to uh, just talk a bit about what's going to happen right now. So what uh, we want is... Um, the, the starting game is, it goes through pretty quickly, uh, but it, it also includes some kind of, uh, of grinding here and there, and that we want to sort of find the balance of doing all of those things. Because basically, we have over here, tier, tier zero, we need to build a lot of things so we can build up our base just a bit. And uh, that means we need some portable miners, we need to mine some things manually, we need to craft some things here. Uh, one thing I'd like to uh, remind you, or uh, something is new, if you press shift space, it just starts automatically. I am not holding down the space anymore. That's so nice. So you can auto craft now. Uh, that is so nice. So no, no, no more just putting things on your mouse or your uh, keyboard to keep it crafting. It's just shift space. That's very nice. Also do it in another way, but that's uh, that's just kind of one on one. And let's see if we go to this one and see the first tier, first upgrade. That is going to give us what is it going to give us? It's going yeah, we'll we'll see. It'll give us a few things. The thing is, like in the beginning, it's just a matter of uh, getting those knocked out as fast as possible, so we can we can uh, we can continue. And I'll do this one. Ta-da! And then, as she is very chatty, then uh, we'll just... So we got got upgrades. Now we have equipment workshop. So what we can do is uh, we're going to just uh, go a bit forward on... So that we have a few more things so we can... Um, so we can focus on the next thing because the next challenge is when we get the power and how to balance the first bit of power we have because the first power is very constrained. So let's do that. So here we are. We are. We've just done a few more upgrades. What do we get here? Let's illustrate what it is. Upgrade one to upgrade one, upgrade two, upgrade three, and uh, what we want here is uh, we can actually get upgrade. Th for as well but what we really want to do is show is that right now this is the first power we have we're going to put in some leaves here and uh, the only thing we can actually build because we don't we only have a power line we don't have a power pole yet so because we don't have a power pole all we can do is drag it from here to one location i can't drag it to more this one only has one connector this has one connector so all you can do is a single smelter so it's all about just getting that one started. But the most important part about this would be let's get some let's get some stone bricks. And we have our stone down here and I have put down a few of these so that we can get some stone back in our base. So we're going to go back and grab some stone because by the, with we if we have stone well actually the thing is we can do this hub upgrade 3 and I don't have enough. Oh, 
of that. So let's just make a few. One, two, three. One, two, three. That should be enough there. I will do the upgrade. Select. Boom, boom, boom. I've been out exploring a bit and that's why I have some wires. Let's get this upgrade. So now we have power poles. That makes it a lot easier. Now we can go up to 20 power, 20 megawatts of power because that's what it can be uh, produced. Uh, this is what we can be produced at this point. So I am going to need some concrete because if we look at this needs some iron sticks and it needs some rods. This is the next uh, the next milestone or this is the next like little challenge. Your first thing you can have make one thing electrified. Next you can make up to 20 megawatt of power. And then the question is how do you spend those 20 megawatts of power in the best possible manner? Uh, thirdly, you can get a, you get an extra one that gets up to 40 and then there are some optimization there on how much you can do at each different location. Okay, so now we can we have our power poles. That means we can take all of this out because we don't need it. And instead go make a power pole and then drag it somewhere else. And what we then need to do is we would we need to figure out what it is that is the most important. So since we have an iron location here, I want to make a smelter. And I'm going to put that here and I'm going to put that here. And then I am going to put the power on number six, I think. Yeah. So this one, I'll pre prepare it and I don't have the stuff. Okay, let me just get the stuff and let's build the smelters. Smelters should be... We have 20 megawatts of power available. So what we could do is we can take one of these, make that into here. So I'm smelting and I will get my power pole from power from here. Just place it next to it and not sort of go directly in. There you go. This one is now working and power is using four. That means I can get five machines. I think that I want to get so in this point because I did some exploration and found some wire on the way then I don't really need to have iron at this point. So what I want is, oh, by the way, if you go to deconstruction mode, press middle mouse button, you get a copy of uh, the stuff that you're just building. So let's build another one next to us because then we can, in this case, actually get more. And again, let's get this one. And I always have, and that's really going to come for a surprise for anyone who's not, uh, who's been watching anything on my channel. Uh, I like having concrete to work on so uh, yeah I'm gonna make a lot of concrete here so these two are now working they make and I'm gonna prepare it so that when we get belts we can go more or less directly in here like that one and I don't know let's put that one they're not gonna be super nice but they'll be able to go somewhat in there we're gonna get here and here so those are the two mo main main things you go in here you go over to this location and go in there all we need is now get some the stuff will be built and we have to hand feed it you take huh like that uh split you go in there and this one goes in here sweet all right so that is now up to 16 it should be going to 16. Yeah, 16. And the only thing we have left, the only thing we can do at this point is actually going here. And that's uh, what I feel is the most important at this moment. Building some concrete. Build some concrete. And that means we will again hand feed, hand feed things from here in here to the concrete. Boom. And is it powered? No, not yet. All right, so this will be the, in my opinion, the optimal way of allocating the first 20 megawatts of power, because now we can come back and make some concrete. I, alternatively, I could also make this over for the copper, but really, I like this part better. And then you'll just need to go around, handcraft, build, get things in, uh, these need to go out, top it up, until you have the next tier of research and yeah put it all in here cool 
and then we can continue our research. So already now we have just a small bit of uh, optimization done. We don't have the belts, we don't have any of that, but we can now start working on it. That's where we get the conveyor belts. It's gonna be the next thing. I really like the way that it's done so that this one is 75, which is kind of a, a way of telling us to, yeah, you really want to optimize it. So again, let's, uh, let's, Let's, uh, now that we have this, we are going to scale up a bit. When we get a few more upgrades, we can actually get to 40 megawatts, which is also when we can start putting miners in. So I think that's probably the best place to start doing that. And we have now skipped a bit forward again. We've uh, completed a few more of the sort of menial researches here uh, so that we can get on with it. What I've done is uh, here, completed all these small upgrades and uh, just get some of these ones in. Uh, it's not much, but it's uh, it, it was, the point is that at this point it's a lot about walking back and forward just gathering stuff from these and bringing it back in and getting the next thing in but what i've done is i've just uh, started making something a bit nicer we have a miner here an automatic miner that gets placed so we've now started uh, changing it we are using we have 40 megawatts of power available and uh, there let's see yeah 40 megawatts of capacity can that one be highlighted no, there. And that goes into, I can unfortunately only get it into one of those. So I'm gonna have to sub once in a while go here and put it into the other one as well, because this one will be easy enough to feed. This is only taking 30 per minute. And this one will then have to be hand fed. It's not a problem because this one consumes and produces 30 per minute, but it only goes into the sticks, which can only consume 15 per minute. So it's not great and, ow, ah, Damn it, this is what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about power because I'm kind of overstraining it. Um, we have a tiny bit of power here. What I really should be doing is uh, probably turning this one off. Beep, stand and stand by and flip the switch again. There, because I wanted to talk about the power consumption. <laughs> and uh, what I, I just uh, want to say, so basically miner, belt, constructor, and a box yes and likewise over here miner in this case a box and then a smelter constructor and we have now a lot of this oh, get it let's why not i have placed one foundation that will be our keystone foundation that's the one we're going to be looking at as well but first is about the power because right now i cannot get any more power out of the two Miners are the two I have here on the back side. These ones are taking what they can. They are using biomass and they are somehow they peaked up there. I don't know how that happened. doesn't matter. But what I would uh, recommend doing strongly is that if you're looking at like this in the early game, then there is a change in version or in update four. That means uh, let's let's think. Of, let's see how we, we say it. OK, so power production in update 4 is now running at full speed all the time so that's good for coal and whatever because you have a constant production a constant demand that's good so you can take out the excess power that you don't use you can put it into batteries that's the late game thing however that's not how it works for the starter part so these uh, are biomass burners they're only consuming what they need what that means is in if you build if i if i have 40 consumption and i put one of these down then i get up to 60 60 uh, 60 but if i have 60 then it's also going to be consuming quite fast but if i now have a i don't know how many one two three four five six see one two three four five six seven okay i can take one more there so if i take seven of these then all it does is it just means that they are going to be consuming it slower There will be there will be basically no advantage no disadvantage of doing it like this not basic but there is no disadvantage to doing it this way uh, the, the advantage is that you don't have to come back and fill up as often as part as you need so this one if i go here then they'll be consuming at a much lower rate and that means i maybe only have to come back here every hour to fill up instead of coming back every 20 minutes because i am running at 100 percent capacity or close to 100 percent capacity and i must have missed some worst one right uh is the one that is red you happy 
You're happy. Everyone's happy. All right, cool. Uh, let's put one more in. Here. And that will be hooked up there. And there. Cool. So what I've done now is, if we look at our power, we've now spiked it all the way up to 280 megawatts of power. It's not going to produce 200 megawatts of power, but it's now going to take one biomass, 10 per minute. Yeah, so very slow consumption. You can see this progress bar is going down very, very slowly. That means I don't have to worry about this for a very long time. And what I can then worry about is how to scale up. <clears throat> We both have here, there are some level two researchers. There are some that's okay. This clearing is pretty good because that's uh, actually allowing us to to clear obstacles well, uh, to get the chainsaw. I love it. Uh, logistics is also okay. The other ones are not really that good. Logistics mark two, I'll need it for a bit later. But the one I actually want to have is the obstacle clearing. We're not gonna be doing this because it's a lot of handcrafting and we don't want to do handcrafting. We can do that. We can do that on our own time, right? Go. Slide, slide, slide. Get the iron, get the iron sticks. And then now we can reactivate this one because uh, now we have enough power. Boop. Activate it. Cool. So what I want to do now is this is an absolute mess. And by that I mean there are no foundations. I want everything to be built on foundations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and then start making foundations because this is seems like a good place to make foundations. What I would recommend you doing when you set down your first foundation is you go and uh, you go you go up on that if you can. Oh come on. Bunny hop. There you go. And then you look at it and when you place it, so out here you can rotate, come on, rotate, 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 rotate. And when you place it, you make sure that this line is pointing towards north. I mean, you point it towards the cardinal directions. So it's a, just make absolutely sure that the first one you place is facing the cardinal directions. And if you don't do that, it's just gonna be super annoying because you can't navigate and just going like, all right, this is the northbound and this is the westbound and southbound and eastbound. Just really a lot nicer this way. So what um, what we'll do is we will simply just make a big platform. Yay, platforms, yay. And this will be our building platform. And this is the main objective for the this episode today is not just to, just, not just to get the, initial research, but also have a clean, crisp location up here that is on platforms and that makes all of the iron, all the copper and also fuel. That's going to be the objective. So that's going to be one hell of a challenge for us to, to, to get that done. There. I don't think I want to go closer to this because uh, that is an excellent location for more concrete. Let's also consider that. Right now, since we can't, we don't have the chainsaw, we can't remove the trees, but so we'll just build through them and then get the trees harvested at some other point. Uh, I think I might have overdone it a bit with my platforming here, but uh, maybe not. There's always a good... This is uh, the core gameplay part here, is uh, making platforms. I, I want to build the first platform together with you so that we get the sense of this is how we build platforms, this is how we are going to build everything, we're going to build everything on platforms and I'll do some cleaning afterwards underneath, over, around, all that stuff so that we can get going on this. And then we'll start looking at what I want to build up here. And that's going to take a lot of materials as well. And we can go one more in. So I think we want to actually... Uh, we still have enough. Oh, look at that. It's actually... It's actually going to be very, very close to perfect. Ah, one, two, three. I was missing three, but that's okay. That's in a boring corner. Eh, boring corner anyway. All right, let's let's uh, let's start talking about what it is I want. So the idea here is... No, I can't do that. I, I need to get rid of... I need to get rid of the foliage uh, before I can, I can even concentrate on what I want on this platform. 
yeah, let's uh, let's go back and do the research for the obstacle clearing, and then uh, clear the obstacles so we can we can move on. And so I've researched the. Here we go. Yeah. And not only that, but uh, as soon as I researched it, I was like, ah, you know what, I'm going to clear it. And then I realized that, you know, this one, it runs on solid fuel. So you need to actually get some solid fuel going. So I built a bit of this. And then I thought, you know what, in order for us to focus on the most important thing, let's actually just uh, make sure that we have things ready for us. Uh, so we built the platform. <clears throat> While I did it, I also, since we have the logistics, I split this one. So this is now working more smoothly. Taking my, this can go up to 60, but, uh, but you know, it's, it's not going, it's going to go up to 120, but it's only producing at 60. So it's going, whoops, uh, the 60 goes in here, splits to 30 on each. This one goes in here and I'm going to get a bit of everything for each of these locations and crouch. There we go. And there and I think I have my platform up here so what I want to do is now this is where my way of playing maybe differs from anyone who's played the game will probably and start up with this crap but this is where I kind of start uh, going in a different direction so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a build everything well not everything but you know I want to build iron plates iron sticks screws copper wire copper cable copper sheets and solid fuel from leaf solid fuel from from wood those are the things that i want to make and i want to make it up here so i am going to start by getting a smelter why is that so difficult okay get this one in the middle that should be easier for me to figure out how to get the smelter to actually be in the middle. There, that's in the middle. Cool. All right, so what I want to do is I'm gonna get this line is for inputs. So they'll come up here, go in there for smelting. This is taking 30 in, 30 out. And that means we can take, I want to have two of these making iron. And oh, there's a new feature here. You can do control C or you can click these buttons. And then you go into the other one and you can control the now it doesn't do much if it's just a single click you're missing but if you have this uh, balance exactly to 27 percent and or you have some uh, some power shots in there it could be really useful to be able to copy paste this from from assembler to assembler each of these producing 30 i definitely want more of those and there I want to use 120 iron per second, minute. Yeah, we're not doing seconds here, we're doing minutes. And then I'm gonna have the next one is gonna be empty because that will be for merging and uh, splitting. And then we'll go into this one where I will build the first constructors. That constructor is going to be making plates. That's 30 in, 20 out. And let's get one more of these. Exactly like it also plates. So that means I'll take 60 iron in and make it into 40 plates. That's good. It'll then go out here and then be merged in the middle, that one. And I'll go make, oh, how far do we need it outbound? I think maybe like this, but I'm also, yeah, it can't be out here because then it would hang over. So let's build it here. So that's going to be the uh, objective. One of the things, uh, another thing that I also have, like my, I have my principles and uh, you better get used to them because they are not changing. <laughs> there are some things I like to do and it makes the base look so much more aesthetic. And uh, hopefully maybe when you see this, you will start building like this as well. So all, all things will be either straight in or they will go out here. See, I would never do that. Well, I just did, but that's just disgusting and horrifying and uh, horrible. So what you need to do is only 90 degree turns. And you do that like this. So basically you drag the belt over to exactly where it's the middle, where you get the blue line, and then you take it two steps back 
place the, fo the foundation, and then you make a 90 degree turn. 90 degree turns are sharp and crisp and perfect, and those are the only ones we have. There, and again here. So I could drag it straight in, but no, 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 no. I'll see this one's with blue, and I go one, two, back, place it, and get it in. It seems like it's way more complicated, but it isn't. And there. But what this gives us is, it gives us the ability to, let's go up here. It looks so much nicer. Shouldn't we build some kind of uh, tower in this corner? Yeah, let's build a tower in the corner so we can see what we're building. All right, so this is already taken care of the iron. Then I'm going to take care of the, that's iron plates. Now we're going to take care of iron sticks. They are super slow. They're only at 15 per minute here, 15 per minute. So if I take 60 inbound for this, then I'm going to need four of these to consume the whole thing, which is perfect. There. And again. Sticks or rod? It's not sticks. It's rods. Ah, rods, of course. All right, go back to running, and then it also seems a bit stupid to have this one, but instead have it here. And this will be iron ore and plates, and then again, this one will do thirty inbound, thirty outbound. So the thirty outbound here will be need to be split between these two. So again, a nice little splitter like that. And this one also needs a nice little splitter. In, 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 and then the 90 degree turns. I hope I can infect you with these uh, 90 degree turns because once you start, you can never go back. And I can guarantee you that your base will be a wondrous place to be. Cool. So now we have 60 sticks but that's too much because one of them this one here actually two of them will be used to make screws screws are even slower they only take 10 of these per second a minute <laughs> and make 40 outbound so i'm i'm gonna take my 15 outbound here and split it into that's not a splitter that's a splitter Oh, right, there's another little feature. If you do this and press E, then you can actually switch, hold down E, you can switch between this. This is pretty cool. Also works for belts. Well, if I had belt mark two, then yes, it would work. Uh, I'm gonna do a splitter here and I need to make sure that it comes from that side. Cool, so this one's taking 15 inbound and splitting it evenly. That means 70 and a half out there. Seven and a half in there. These ones should be scaled down, so they'll be doing, making slightly more. No, they'll be actually doing 30 plus 30. That's perfect, 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 perfect. And let's get this one. And that will be right there. And now I'm going to merge it back again. That means we have put a merger in here. No. Oh, I missed that DSP function where when you build something, it goes back. Is that, is that the one? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. And one, two, back. And then straight in. So this, this will be making screws. Did I, did I set the other one? No, not yet. All right, screws. Then we just need to merge one, two, three together. And this is also where you will see something that I think at least looks nice. Because if I do these crisp turns here, then I can do... Look at that. Not clipping, but kissing. Beautiful. That is exactly how it should be. And that goes in here, and then I can take a box. And then I think it's time for us to hook up the power poles and then start getting some mines inbound. Uh, there's one thing we're missing, and that is actually the inbound. This one is inbound and coming in here. I'm getting another one inbound here. Oh, it would be nice if I could actually just get it 
on a Mark II belt, but we can't do that just yet. Doesn't matter. We'll uh, we'll do it this way. When I have a Mark II belt, we'll make changes. But I don't have a Mark II belt, so I have to make do with what I have, and that is Mark One belts there. One, two, back, and there. So it's not super complicated. I don't really feel it's it's costing me anything to do that. And we're gonna get this one inbound, and this one inbound. And that will be coming up from this miner and that miner up there. So I'll hook these two in here, and then I will put up the power poles as well. But that's super boring to put power poles, so I'll just do it. Okay, so we are, we've we now built the miner here and the other miner, and they are hooked up, and I've hooked up all the power poles. And now, I mean, you can start seeing why it's so important, at least for me, to build like this. Very crisp lines, smelters, constructors, extra constructors, and storage chests. All really neat lines. So what I've done is I have at this location. Okay, I just made it right here. I decided that I wanted to build this together with you so that we could see it come in here. And I don't know if it works. So we'll we'll see what I'm gonna go up is up here. And then we're gonna take a look at to see if it works. That would be super nice. And then we can build the next part. All right, so at least these two are huffing and puffing. The next one is starting as well. And so this is uh, 60, 120 iron per minute. And that will be starting to get make some plates here. This one is starting to make some gear. That one is not working. Oh, that's not great. Why are you not? Oh, it's working now. Oh, nice. It's just the one that's furthest away. So let's see. We are getting the iron rods. We are getting the iron plates. We are hopefully getting some iron rods in there. Oh, oh, it's starting to work. Let's see. This should be exactly 60 per minute, which will be all we can do. Ah, we got the blue crates. All right. So what we have now is an infinite production of uh, of all the iron ingredients. That is amazing. I love it. I love it. This is, uh, I'm, I'm just going to take a bit of damage from this. Oops. And that's brilliant. We oops, jump over. What I need to do now is kind of the same and kind of different because the next part is going to be a different production chain. I don't know, how do I most efficiently look at production chains? I'm going to do biofuel, solid biofuel from biomass, and that's going to be the next one. So we are going to start by making all the ingredients. These ones cannot be fed in by, by belts or anything like that. So we are unfortunately going to have to feed them in in a box. That means every time I'm going out, into the world and coming back, then I will have two boxes, one for uh, one for leaves and one for wood. They will then go into a constructor, like so. And again, make it completely aligned with the other ones here. This one will be, mm, let's go leaves first and then go wood here. Now, the interesting thing is this one takes a lot inbound, but not a lot outbound. It's a full belt outbound. This one takes not much inbound, well, full belt inbound, but a silly, silly amount outbound. That's not really going to be a support, but it doesn't matter because I will be... Uh, actually, I want it the other way around, now that I think of it. Wood and leaves. There. So what I want to do is I want to say on... No, we'll stay on this. Here. These will go into locations have to be exact is that correct is it slightly off yeah it's slightly off yeah it's slightly off you're slightly off is that because you're slightly off you're also slightly off is that because you're slightly off it's because you're slightly off all right brilliant 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 we'll take that out and post there And I'll build it here as well. There. And then we can build the boxes. Boxes go. Now they will be having the blue lines. That's a blue line. And that's a blue line. And they will go into... You know what? I'll put it into... Do I want to put it into one or two boxes? I think I'll put it into two boxes for now. 
don't think I technically need it. Okay, so we can go to over here. This was wood, and this was leaves. Leaves will be producing less, so I think I'll have a merger here. And then I'll have a splitter here. It means this one goes in here, and I can always upgrade the belts once I get better belts, because I'm going to keep this around for a while. It's going to be a long time until we get coal power. Just, just be. I'm just going to be honest with you on that one. Coal power is not exactly right around the corner. Uh, I like building things up and instead of trying to rush coal power before we actually have some of the basic production. So, so that is now working, I think. Um, if I get this up and running, uh, that's going to work. And that's going to work. We don't have anything to put in there, but uh, yep. Let me hook up the power lines and get some things we can put in. And so it is powered. Now we can put things in. And can I remember what's what? This is the this is the leaves. Okay, so I put all my leaves that I've just been out and harvesting here. Oh, that's a, that's a bit of a graphic thing on uh, experimental as of the time of recording. And here are this the wood. Now I'm gonna help a bit on this by just forcing something in here, so I can get all my biomass out of my inventory and instead get it in here. That one, get that started, and get that started here. Yes, so now I have less biomass in my inventory, and then we'll just put these in here and pretend that they're already built. Oh, look at that, see, it's already built. And this is, uh, not only is it more compact, it's also just more fuel efficient, so you actually get more fuel by processing it. Now there's only one thing left for us to do in uh, this setup, and that's actually doing the same thing, but for the copper part. And I think I might be running out of things, but let's uh, see, that doesn't actually scare me very much because yeah, we have all the production of iron and over here. So we need to do the copper setup. And what is it we want to do? Copper setup. All right, so we have a certain number of things that we want to make for copper. That's gonna be copper wire. Let's do look at the copper wire. It's only taking 15, so we're gonna take four of these copper wires there, there, and there. That's going to be the copper wire. Half of those, uh, let's make sure that we actually set copper wire first. Half of those will be made into cable because no matter what I do, I will always run out of cables. Uh, let me see. So that one will be, oof, that's the second to last we can make. Cables is consuming 60 per second. Okay, so this one is producing 30 per second. Yeah, so that's good. Two of those go into that one and going into a box that means I can get a box let's make it here and another box here and that's basically as uh, simple as it is for this one as well I will be making and that's definitely not the middle seven that's the middle and we're gonna get one two inbound oops Take the middle one first, so we don't have to skip so much. One, two, back. Go in there. Uh, this one is not going to be there. Thank you very much. And... Oh, yeah. And they go in there. Cool. While on this side, it's going to merge. In and... In and in. All right. That'll be 60 wires in, 30 cables out, 30 cables goes in here. And again, just need the power poles. And for some unknown reason, no matter what game I play, I always forget that copper needs smelting because I said just need the power poles. And then I put the power poles in and go like, yeah, what about smelting? Smelting is pretty important, right? So we also need smelting. These two take 15 each, so that's going to be one of these should be enough. Oh, that doesn't seem right. Is that a blue line? Do I have a blue line? Trust the blue lines. Boom. And... There's the blue line. 
Yes. And that will be split. Splitter here. And the splitter here. In. And in. And this one will go to here. I'm pretty sure that eventually when I'm getting better at it, more comfortable with it, I can do this faster. But then we might get into the whole uh, causing dizziness problem of, uh, of this. So <clears throat> this is looking okay, I think. But the issue is that I kind of also want to make... Oops, missing cable. Are you kidding me? There's always cables, right? It's always cables. No matter how much I try to prepare, it's always cables I'm running out of. Uh, okay, so let me think. I also want to make the sheets. But, you know, sheets are not going to be used right now. So I don't really care about the sheets right now. I think it's uh, more important that we do this and get that hooked up and get it happy. These ones obviously have to be set to copper. That one. And set a splitter. That's not a splitter. Splitters are one up. Splitters are here. Yes. And I'm going to get that one inbound. Oops. Inbound. Inbound. And... Okay, so all I need is for this one. And then we need to drag it backwards. This is very lovely. Lovely that I can do this. This is something I really like. The fact that you can drag it backwards. And I'm going to kill this line. Can I connect it? Oh, no, 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 no. Can I connect it directly? Yeah, it doesn't clip or anything. Cool. So we have now hooked up all of the copper as well. And that means we get some of the copper ingredients. We are just going to confirm that it actually works. And then uh, what I need, I can do then is I can start clearing out all the other stuff, but that's, uh, that's you know, that's one of those between session things, right? When we clear out all the stuff just in order for us to, to make this. But we want to see that it's working and I want to see that it's working from, ah, uh, you make, you know what? We'll, be, we'll make a new tower here, just, uh, it's going to be nice to have some towers in the corners there. And that should be allowing us to get up. And then hopefully the lines will come in in the meantime. Oh, we can actually climb straight into the tree. I don't think I'm going to do that. So now you can see, I hope that you can see how how and why I'm building it like this. This is going to be uh, where we end up. I'm really happy with what we've done because what from now on, we can now pick iron, copper products. That's what we're going to need for building the base moving forward. I'm going to need to get the sheets they can put, put here. And then I should also get all the concrete. I don't know where I'm going to put that, but I'm going to get some kind of concrete built as well. So we can also pick concrete. Once we have that, we are ready to go to the next part. And the next part will probably be the making the space elevator so we can unlock tier three, tier two, tier three, unlock the next tier. And, and that will be uh, the next episode, I am sure of it. So if you are liking this episode or if you're liking uh, this uh, playthrough and want to see more, then you know the drill. Like it, share it, subscribe to the channel. That's going to be way more satisfactory right now. We are taking a break from Dyson Sphere program because this is new and exciting and we kind of achieved all we wanted in Dyson Sphere program. We'll be coming back to it when there's more content, but right now, this is the game that we are going to be focused on. It's going to be super awesome. And you can see we got our copper wires coming in. Let's see if we also can get some cables. Then everything is just working flawlessly in the first try. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you want to stick around and watch more Satisfactory content. Know that I'm also streaming it on Twitch. That's Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 8 p.m. Central European time. But um, yeah, check out my you can check out the Discord for my schedule and also announcements of when I go live. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care and stay effective.